Hey everybody, welcome back to our Origin Summer Preview 2016. I am here with Keith from L4 Studios. Yes. We are taking a look at Liar's Dice. Now you've probably seen this before, but it's coming back out again. And it's coming back out from you and uh, and uh, Mr. B Games. Yes, sir. Working That's together, it. reprinting this. Uh, let's give people the uh, the 30 second uh, description of the game in case they are not familiar with Liar's Dice. And then you can tell us about your version of it. Yeah, this is Richard Borg's Liar's Dice, and actually it's going to be a 30th edition, okay. um, which is it's been that long, 1986. Yeah, that's crazy. And so this is the one that Tom's really fond of. This is the one that was done by Milton Bradley. It's also in uh, Europe. It's called Bluff. Right. So this was the Spiel de Jaris. This is the one winner. I have, and I adore the game. There we go. I one love of my that. Favorite games of all time. So we uh, we're targeting this with a Q4 release. We'll we'll firm that up uh, pretty quickly. But okay. we are working with Richard on this. Very excited about that. So this is the version where you've got the dice with instead of the one, you have the star. The and um, as I understand it, the the piece that he added, that Richard added, was that um, what's different with his game is that you can show dice and re-roll so that adds that element right, to right. it. But um, I want to, people know the game, they're going to find out about the game. I want to share an anecdote or a little story with you Hopefully. that uh, Richard was, was telling me about this. When this game won, what the, what the jury told him was is this wasn't their favorite game. But what happened was is every time they got together to play one of these other games that was up for nomination, they always played Liar's Dice. That's that great. was something they always did either at the beginning or to close out the night. They always kept coming back to that. And that, when I, I first played this with my uncle uh, Brian, it was probably about 30 years ago. And so I have this fond memory with, with my family playing it. So it's really a fun full circle that, that I get to publish this game with Richard yeah, because there's cool. great family memories with it. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's it for Liar's Dice. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, this was a game I played all through college, and I have very, very uh, fond memories of it as well. So I like I it. Totally we're, understand. we're excited to bring it back out. Yeah, this very cool. this picture is of uh, some development artwork for that. We're going to be sharing a couple different cover designs with um, the the Dice Tower BGG crowd. So we're going to get some feedback on what kind cool. of covers people like. So we'll be seeing some iterations to this one. I expect out on the on the uh, public media soon. Okay, great. So. Now, is this coming uh, to Kickstarter? Are you guys uh, going through that, or is it getting? That's uh, uh, to be determined. You don't know we're, yet. Okay. We're in talks. A couple people have suggested it. We're going to talk with Richard to firm up anything on that front. Initially, we were not going to do that, and there are a couple other things that, that are coming up that are uh, having us uh, revisit that. But so that's to be determined. Okay. How about one one last question for yeah. you? You're shooting for how many players out of the box? Oh, it's going to be six. Yeah. This is the version that everybody knows. This is, these are what we're looking at for the cups. So we've got the, we wanted to have that kind of noise, right? When you're playing with, uh, with Liar's Dice, Richard was talking about one of the tournaments that he had been to that when people start, it sounds like the Zulu is coming. With the, zh, zh, zh. <laughs> it's like, having, having been to South Africa, I could kind of appreciate that. Um, so that kind of, Right, right. Real rattly. We were actually looking for that as far as what we want because that's part of the fun of the game, that's we think. So game. you want to have a good sturdy cup that, you know, when you slam it, that's going to be what's there. So yeah, yeah. we're definitely going for the vibe. Not the Oscar the Grouch cups, mind you, but the idea of the sturdy stack. Yeah. Well, and six no players out of the box, I think, is a big deal also. That's, yes, that's absolutely. Important. Absolutely. Very cool. No, we're, very cool. We're I'm glad to, to hear this coming back. Good talking to you, my friend. Thank, Thank you, you very much. I appreciate your time. Yeah, no problem. Thank you guys for tuning in. Watch out for Liars Dice coming at you.